Hi everyone! So, uh, continuing the series of dipping thing, I'm <laughs> enjoying myself way too much uh, trying to discover new patterns, new things uh, that I can dip in the paint to create um, something cool. Uh, so, uh, today I'm going to dip a wine glass. This is an old wine glass, cheap, that um, we had a uh, three of them or four and I broke them all so uh, this is the last surviving uh, glass and I'm going to use this today to dip in the paint I'm not sure what the result will be but what I'm expecting is uh, if I dip the side like that it's going to create some like triangle uh, dip thing and I think it's going to look uh, kind of cool and today I mixed my colors uh, for a warm feel, uh, red and like oranges, I think it's going to look nice and analogous color harmony. And they're all heavy body paints, and I mix them all the same way 50 50 paint and medium, and then about 25% water, and maybe 20 for the fluorescent that are. Uh, different brand and uh, need a little less water since they're not as thick to begin with and um, yeah that's about it let's get started with that all right so like my last videos I will put the paint on the canvas using the flip cup technique I just like it because it uh, allows me to blend the paint but not too much and create a nice coverage uh, with some really cool uh, details so hmm. the density here doesn't matter and well they are pretty much very close all very close in density so I will just go as I feel. So this is Canyon Red Deep Hue. Here we have the Vermilion. Naftal Red Light. Canyon Orange Hue. Fluorescent orange and fluorescent red. It looks like pink right now, but it's red. It's just because it's mixed with the medium, and the medium is white when not dry. But as it dries, it will go transparent, and the red will become red again. So. Can't remember which side I put it. I think it's that way. Because um, since my floor isn't leveled. I have to level my canvas with the push pin and it's tricky. You have to remember which way to put it first. So let's lift this. Let's cover the sides. Corner. And now we tilt.
Here we go. Let's see now what shapes will result of this. Well, it's actually quite pretty. And here we go. I'll give you a time lapse while I cover my sides and uh, pop the bubbles. All right. So. I did not expect that at all, but it's if it is even better than I expected. I really enjoy it. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, at loss for words. I didn't expect uh, cells, for one, but I've got quite a bit of them all around. Uh, that's primarily fluorescent colors too. It's the orange and the fluorescent red. And it looks like uh, an explosion, <laughs> literally. The colors, uh, the movement, uh, it's just going upwards. I think it was a great idea. So thank you uh, who suggested the wine glass. I'll have to um, try this again, for sure. And it's a good thing that we have that old... Um, wine glass. I'll uh, try not to break it. <laughs> I don't think my husband will uh, let me uh, dip uh, the new glass in the acrylic, so <laughs> I have to keep the old glass intact. And it's lovely, really. I think the color pick, even though the colors were all really close together, uh, it really worked. Uh, the reason why, why I'm not doing complementary contrast lately is because since I dip things in the paint, it tends to mix the paint a little bit and if I had complementary colors, uh, it would create brown. So I'm trying to go with analogous color harmony, so when it mixes, it just goes for nice little gradients and I just... I can't get enough. So yeah, <laughs> lovely painting. I just really like it. With the wine glass, um, never expected that and it really, really worked. Of course the fluorescent colors are the lightest in density here, so that's why they sold up uh, through the other colors. The other colors were pretty close in density a little bit denser than the fluorescent colors, so they didn't 
quite sell up but the fluorescent color is dead and I'm really happy with that and I can't wait to put it under a black light I think it will look amazing all right and we're back and I am a happy painter today uh, really the a nice discovery and I think the color pick for it was perfect I was uh, thinking that the shape of the wine glass would go for petals but as I kept going it looked more and more like an explosion flames and uh, that's why I think the color pick was perfect for that uh, rich reds oranges and it's all going upwards the movement is amazing I have movement I have cells and I have uh, nice colors, a nice uh, analogous color harmony, and yeah, <laughs> this painting got everything. And that's why I'm really a happy painter. So yeah, uh, if you like it, give it a like, and it will help me. And also, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!